Look what Flounder found. It's that wonderful statue of Eric. It fell down here to the ocean floor when his ship was wrecked in the storm. It's so beautiful, just like him. But my father would have an absolute fit if he knew I had this. <laughs> you can see that again, girl. What did you bring me? Can I look? She really has it bad for him, doesn't she? I honestly didn't mean to tell the Sea King about Ariel's grotto. I'm not worried. Flotsam and Jetsam always get the job done. Okay, Ariel. You can open your eyes now. Oh, Flounder. You're the best. Why, Eric, run away with you? Oh, this is all so, so sudden. Will you stop looking at that thing, child? Try to keep a clear head. I knew you'd like it. I consider myself a reasonable merman, but this is inexcusable, Ariel. It's not what you think, Daddy. Sebastian told me everything. Contact between the human world and the mer world is strictly forbidden. Daddy, I love him. If this is the only way to get through to you, so be it. Such power! I won't rest until it's mine. Be quiet, you... you... Can't get rid of me that easy. Oh no! All of Ariel's toys fell down. Can you help us put them back? Ariel likes all the teddy bears on one shelf, all the tin soldiers on another shelf, and all the dolls on a third shelf. Don't, Daddy! Please! <laughs> oh, Triton's making this too easy. It's time for my poopsies to have some fun. <gasps> Maybe if we rebuild the statue, it'll cheer Ariel up. Can you help us? Click on the pieces of the statue to put Eric back together. Ariel, I'm sorry. I tried not to tell him. Just go away. Super cool! You made that statue look terrific again! Leave me alone. Wow, that's super cool. You made that statue look terrific again. 
Everything will be okay, Ariel. Poor sweet child. Who... who are you? We represent someone very powerful. Who can make your dreams come true. I don't understand. Ursula has great magical powers. To let you and your prince live together forever. I couldn't possibly talk to the sea witch. Uh, get out of here. Suit yourself. It was only a suggestion. No, wait. I'll go with you. Come to me, girl. You'll be my ticket to King Triton's crown. <laughs> we'll take you to her palace. Eric and I will be together forever. Ariel, don't believe them. No, Ariel, don't listen to those two. Why don't you go tell my father? You're good at that. With my magical powers, I can turn Ariel into a human. But if she doesn't get kissed in three days, she will turn back into a mermaid and be in my power forever. Then I can use Ariel to trap my real enemy, King Triton. <laughs> now I see what she's up to. I thought she had bigger fish to fry. I mean, catch. Ursula is my only hope. If I was human, I could be with Eric. She's a monster! She's a witch! Ariel should stay away from her! You can use Ursula's powers to see magical images of the past, present, and future. It's as easy as picking up colored potions from the cabinet and dropping them in the magic cauldron. We'll tell you which potions are needed for each spell. When you need to hear a spell again, click on us. Here's the first one. To see a handsome fellow, add one bottle of red, one blue, and one yellow. Be reasonable. Nice young ladies. Just don't swim around rescuing people in the middle of the ocean and then ditter off into oblivion like some... I'm telling you, Grim, she was real. I'm gonna find that girl. And I'm gonna marry her. <laughs> Come on, honey. Don't be shy. Lovely. Now try another. To see a violent storm that blew, add one bottle of yellow and one of blue. To make more magic later, just click on the cabinet again. I don't like this place, Ariel. Let's go home. Ariel, get away from her. She has powers, but they are all wicked. What is this place?
You're here because you have a thing for this human, this prince fellow. Well, Angelfish, the only way to get what you want is to become human yourself. You can do that? My dear, it's what I do, it's what I live for, helping poor unfortunate merfolk like yourself. I will turn you into a human for three days. Before the sun sets on the third day, you've got to get the prince to give you the kiss of true love. If he does, you'll remain human permanently. If he doesn't, you'll turn back into a mermaid and belong to me. <gasps> Ariel, no! What I want from you is your voice. Go ahead, sign the contract. Click the band shell for a sing along. Ooh. Life's full of tough choices, and <laughs> Life's full of tough choices, and then. Yeah. Sign! But my voice! That's right. No more talking, singing, zip. But you'll have your man. Oh, come on, sign! But my voice! That's right. No more talking, singing, zip. But you'll have your man. The boss is on a roll, boys. <laughs> the boss is on a roll, boys. <laughs> so, Ariel got her late. <laughs> she couldn't talk. She couldn't sing, but she and Eric had a wonderful time together. <laughs> he took her sightseeing all over his kingdom, but still hadn't kissed her. We all did whatever we could to help this situation. Grimsby, she can't be the one. She doesn't have the voice. You two have fun seeing the sights of the kingdom. Eric, perhaps this dream girl you've been waiting for is right under your nose. Hmm. Sightseeing, sightseeing, traveling around. Open your eyes and see what you found. A marvelous vista, a beautiful view, a landscape, a sunset, all waiting for you.
A kingdom is a country that is ruled by a king or queen. From east to west and north to south and all the land between. Just being with Eric was the best time of my whole life. What? If Prince Eric is looking for a bride, I know plenty of available girls right here. Mm-hmm. Now that's enough of that, young man. This is more difficult than I thought. Even without her voice, he's gone all moony over her. <laughs> A nice pipe, sir. Makes you look distinguished. Dancing, we rode in his carriage. It was heaven. might kiss her. Just being with Eric was the best. Mm, this is more difficult than I thought. Did he kiss her yet? Not yet. Sweetie. Oh, I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> 